A car travels along a level road against a constant resistance of motion of 360 newtons. The mass of the car is 1,200 kilograms and its maximum speed is 30 meters per second. Find the rate at which the engine of the car is working. If the engine of the car works at the same rate and the resistances are unchanged, find the maximum speed of the car when ascending at an incline of 30 degrees okay so we've got to find two things here the rate at which the car is working when it's on a level ground and then this maximum the speed it can attain given that rate of working okay so we draw a diagram so we draw a car here so that would we're drawing a force diagram here so there will be the weight acting downward 1200 g newtons there will be a reaction normal reaction to that and then there is a resistance to motion of 360 uh, newtons. Right, then it will have a speed of 30 meters uh, per second. It will be moving along. Now, power is work done per second. Which means force times the distance moved per second. Which is going to be F times V. So the force here making the car go along given by the engine will be p divided by v it's just a rearrangement of this this is known often known as attractive force now if we resolve horizontally so we're going to have p over v p which we need to find and v is 30 so it's going to be p divided by 30 minus the resistance which is 360 it's going to be equal to zero. Now, it's equal to zero because we've got a constant speed because we're at the maximum speed, so there's no acceleration. So from that, we can find that the power is going to be 30 times 360, which is uh, 10,800 watts or 10.8 kilowatts. Right, we now got that power. So when ascending the slope, and um, we've got our car going up a slope now, the same power, 10 1800 watts now the forces acting now are going to be uh, 1200 g newtons acting downwards a normal reaction which is perpendicular to the slope we've got a resistance of 360 newtons and then we've got this tractive force which is p over v the same p but we've now got to find the new value of v that is moving up the slope given that the power maximum power the engine can get is that Okay, so if we now resolve uh, along the slopes along this way, we're going to have P over V, so we're going to have 10,800 over V, which I need to find. We're going against it, it's going to be 360. Now, this part of the weight here, there'll be the component of the weight here, which is 1,200G sine 30, will also act against the car, so we will need to add that in and subtract it from this, so, so we need to do 1200 G times the sine of 30, which you should know is a half, and that's equal to zero from the same region, we're at the constant speed, we're, that's the maximum speed that we can actually, um, we're trying to find the maximum speed so there will be no acceleration. Right, so that will give me uh, 1800, and when we work this out, and put it over here, we're gonna get 6240, now, this uh, often causes confusion trying to find V when it's like this. So, V will be 10,800 over 6,240, uh, which, if we work it out, is actually not very fast at all. It's 1.73 meters per second, which is the final answer, which is just under 4 miles per second. So, actually, this is actually quite a big slope for a car to go up. So... Uh, just so that you've got some sort of uh, context on it. Okay, so this has been a video to show you how to find the uh, engine power of a car and then using it to find the maximum speed that it can actually travel up a slope. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.